In the previous videos, we looked at Wazirx at API and its basics, how to make a request to various endpoints and what are the various endpoints, etc. We used the Postman client for that. In this video, we will introduce a Python library using the Python programming language. If you navigate to public REST API for Wazirx, here you can see there is one python connector and ruby connector. Click on the python connector. We will reach a github repository which has the source code for this library. Here they have given the details. This includes websocket also. They are given the gate for Kickstarter. Now we will download this library to our computer and check how it works. To download, click on this code and download zip file. Save. Okay. Then a zip file will be downloaded to our computer. Extract that zip file and open that folder in your text editor i'll be using visual studio code for this tutorial you can use your favorite text editor if you like to use visual studio code for this tutorial you can go to code.visualstudio.com and download visual studio code from there and install it in your computer like any other software then open Visual Studio Code and go to File, Open Folder and open the uh, Xerox Python client we downloaded now from the GitHub repository. Now we will look what the documentation says. Click Start. Here they are saying Tracer and Icon with Xerox. For public API endpoints, we don't need an account. Only for authenticate endpoints, we need the account. For this video, you don't require the account. Now, you can install the package required for this project using pip3. And using this command, we can install the dependent, dependent packages for this project. I will do that. Go to Visual Studio Code and view. Click on the terminal. Then we will get a terminal here uh, for running commands. And paste this command pip3 install minus r requirement dot txt. You can type it here and press enter. Both packages will be installed. One is request and other is websockets, I think. I have already installed that packages that's why it's showing this in your case it will be downloaded and installed if it, if it is not already installed in your computer so after running this command here they have given some code snippet for testing the api we will use uh, one of those snippet we can copy from here to this part we will create one uh, file main.py for writing our python code and I will paste that code here ok now we will run only the ping command for checking the status of the API uh, this is the source code of the library here they have this folder Wazirus SAPI client then another folder rust it contains client.py having some code and endpoints.py having various endpoints then they have another folder for websocket and they have some code for that also and the code we copied into the main.py they are importing uh, this client class from this package uh, this one I think 
that are imported in this class from this package and we are in uh, creating an object based on that class here and uh, we are using that uh, client.send method for uh, getting a response from the API we use our endpoint as an argument to this method the send method and we get the appropriate response from the API now we will check uh, uh, endpoints one by one now I will run python main.py to execute this main python file and run this code uh, actually I am getting an error I am not sure whether you will get this error or uh, this is saying that python 3.7 is required actually I have python version 3.10 so actually it should work properly I don't know the reason why this is saying this I solved this issue by going to this uh, Vazira's SAP client inside it is rust inside rust there is one init.py here they are checking the version I just commented that portion and uh, ran uh, our main pi file again so it gave me the proper reply this is http status code 200 the request was successful and we got response response is an empty uh, an empty uh, dictionary in python and now we will check other endpoints also we will comment that out and we will check the time endpoint we will clear this terminal where we will run python main.py now we got the server time uh, server time this is the current server time timestamp next we will check system status endpoint the time endpoint and system endpoints are giving us same uh, result I think there is some error with the API normally uh, public API endpoints connectivity system status is like this the response is like this server time we will get the server time but in this case it is giving both both endpoints are giving us the server time ok we will move on next we will get the exchange info and these are the details of assets trading and items like that equivalent of this endpoint exchange info we will get a result like this next we will look how to get crypto price data using the python client for that uh, all the api endpoints are not described in the documentation you can go to source code and uh, inside this rust folder there is one endpoints.py file inside that you can see uh, the various endpoints in this client there are one tickers and ticker endpoint for getting price data tickers will give us the prices of tickers will give us a price of multiple assets and ticker will give us price of a single asset we will check it in our code we will uh, copy this one and we will just make a request to we will try the tickers endpoint in this case uh, with this code and we will run python we will run python main.py 
and we will get the result. Uh, the result is a tuple with the first uh, element as the status code, HTTP status code. For getting the first element, we will give the index of 0 and we will run our file. And we get a status of status code of 200. This is the first element. Second element is our result. Second element is our result. This result is an array of uh, dictionary. So we will get first element inside that array with the index of 0. So now we got the first element. This is BTCINR and its details, things like its last price, etc. So, like this, we can loop through the result array and get various details about various assets. Now, for getting uh, details of a single asset, we can use the ticker endpoint. Here we will, along with uh, our endpoint, we will pass a symbol also as a dictionary. Symbol is BTCINR. And we will clear and run. Now we got details for BTC INR. Uh, we can try WRX uh, Vazirx coin also INR. Okay. Uh, as this video is getting long, I will wind this up. We will check uh, in detail in coming videos. Okay, so in this video, basically we downloaded the client and ran uh, some test endpoints. After that, we uh, run endpoints for getting prices also. So, see you in next video. Goodbye.